There is a line to a quarry at the end of Thomas's branch. It goes for some distance along the road. Thomas was always very careful here. One morning, there was no one on the road, but a large policeman was sitting on the grass close to the line. He was shaking a stone from his boot. Thomas liked policemen. He had been a great friend of the constable who used to live in the village, but had just retired. Thomas expected that the new constable would be friendly too, and he called out to him. Good morning. The policeman jumped and dropped his boot. He scrambled up and hopped round on one leg till he was facing Thomas. Thomas was sorry to see that he didn't look friendly at all. He was red in the face and very cross, and he was wobbling about, trying to keep his balance. Disgraceful! I didn't sleep a wink last night. It was so quiet. And now engines come whistling suddenly behind me. Well, I'm very sorry, sir. I only said good morning. The policeman grunted, and leaning against Thomas's buffer, he put his boot on, and then he drew himself up and pointed to Thomas. Where is your cow catcher? Oh, please, sir. I don't catch cows, sir. Don't be funny. And he took out his notebook and he looked at Thomas's wheels. No side plates either. Engines going on public roads must have their wheels covered and a cow catcher in front. You haven't, so you are dangerous to the public. Oh, look, that's rubbish, Constable. We've been along here hundreds of times and never had an accident. That makes it worse. Regular lawbreaker. The fat controller was having breakfast when the telephone rang. Bother that telephone. I am sorry, my dear. Thomas is in trouble with the police and I must go at once. He gulped down his coffee and hurried from the room. The policeman was waiting at the station. The fat controller spoke to him at once and a crowd collected. Other policemen came to see what was happening and the fat controller argued with them too, but it was no good. Dangerous to the public indeed. We'll see about that. The law is the law, and we can't change it. I'm sorry. It's no use arguing with policemen. We will have to make those cowcatcher things for Thomas, I suppose. Thomas was horrified. Everyone will laugh, sir. They'll say that I look like a tram. Well done, Thomas. Why didn't I think of it before? We want a tram engine. When I was on my holiday, I met a nice little engine called Toby. He hasn't enough work to do, and he needs a change. I'll write to his controller at once. A few days later, Toby arrived. That's a good engine. I see that you have brought Henrietta with you. You don't mind, do you, sir? The station master wanted to use her as a hen house, and that would never do. No, indeed, we couldn't allow that. Toby made the trucks behave even better than Thomas did. At first, Thomas was jealous, but he was so pleased when Toby rang his bell and made the policeman jump that they have been firm friends ever since.